have a look at the colour of the water. It's black. I don't know how I'll go today. Black water is normally a sign of low oxygen. It's been very windy lately and all these gum leaves, all these gum trees, sorry, would have been losing lots of leaves into the wind and those leaves are falling into the water and we can see a lot floating on the water now. And that, those leaves break down and release tannins which deplete the oxygen. So the water could be a bit low in oxygen. Then again, it's quite a big waterway. It's very deep down low. So there could be oxygen down there that gets uh, regulated around. It's a bit hit and miss. There's only one way to find out whether I can catch a fish in this black, inky coloured water. And that's by trying. Because the water's black, it's reasonably clear. I can see nearly two feet into the water. I'm going with this, which is a strike clogger nymph. If you look down here, this is the Lumo. These Lumo nymphs actually glow in the dark. So I'm thinking, if I hold it up in the bright sun, then cast it out into that dark black water, well then they should stand out like dog's balls on a mouse. Quite deep out there. Got him. Ah, oh, let's leave him again. Got him. There we go. Oh, not a bad fish actually. Bigger than what I was expecting anyway. <laughs> there we go. Significantly larger than what I was expecting. Quite blunt. Right. Here we go folks, look at that. A lovely redfin, or English perch. Absolutely beautiful colours on him. Look at the black water he has come out of. Here's, the water is clear, which gives him the nice deep rich colours. But it's also black, which gives him that real dark appearance. I caught him on the strike tiger nymph. Nice little redfin. See buddy. Got him, oh, done him. He come back, got him. Oh, done him again. He's, ooh, there's a couple of them there. Oh, they're nice size too, got him. Oh, oh, done him again. He hit that three times. There was a couple there. I wonder if one of them will come back. Come on, come back. They were nice redfin. Similar to the other two that I've already just caught. Not monsters, but you know, reasonable, good high 20s sort of fish, low 30s fish. A good catchable size. <laughs> They're all a good catchable size. I think I might have had him on for too long that last time because he ain't coming back. He's a Lido fish. Redfin missed the lure that day he left the shack. But he hit the lure too hard and he ain't coming back. Bum 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 bum. Got him. Yes, he hit it on the sink. Yeah, baby. He hit that as it was sinking. Get out of that log. What a nice bloody redfin, actually. Going to lift you straight up here onto the high bank, mate. Some people will growl because I haven't wet my hand, and some will growl because I'm putting you back. Have a look at that. What a lovely little redfin. Beautiful little fish. Once again, very dark. See ya, mate. And those that don't growl because I didn't wet my hands, and those that don't growl because I released a fish, will growl because I've uh, thrown him in from way back up here. There'll be something there for them to growl at. 